Most businesses face challenges during economic downturn. Today, we are diving into three recession-resistant agribusiness ideas, tailored specifically to your needs. What is interesting is they are all highly very profitable ventures with tremendous return on investment. Hey, welcome back to Startup GH. It's your most annoying from Guy Kelly Michael. Happy New Year. Rice farming. The demand for rice in Ghana remains consistently high, with local rice appreciated for its superior quality despite the predominance of imported rice. Rice farming presents a lucrative venture that requires relatively low capital investment. Although labor-intensive when not mechanized, the returns are rewarding. On the average, cultivating an acre yields between 70 to 30 of the 100 kg bags, depending on the cultivated rice variety. A bag of rice sells for approximately 750 cities, amounting to a gross profit ranging from 12,000 750 Ghana city to 22,500 with an expenditure of 7,000 to 12,000 cities per acre based on location. Conservative estimates suggest potential return on investment ranging between 60 to 90 percent. Initial capital requirements include land acquisition or lease, land preparation, seed, fertilizers, machinery if necessary, labor, transportation, ongoing maintenance, miscellaneous expenses, harvesting and processing. To start a rice farm, you begin by acquiring a suitable land for optimal soil condition and access to water. 2. Choose quality rice varieties suitable for local conditions considering factors like climate and soil type. Three. Prepare the land meticulously by plowing, harrowing, and leveling for proper drainage and irrigation. 4. Implement effective irrigation system to ensure consistent water supply to your rice crop. 5. Focus on best practices to, for seedlings preparation, ensuring healthy and robust plants for transplanting. When transplanting, Adapt proper technique and timing for transplanting the rice seedlings into the prepared field. Implement strategies for pest and disease management to safeguard the rice crop. Ensure ongoing care and maintenance throughout the growth cycle, including fertilization and weed control. Execute timely harvesting practices and proper post-harvesting processes for optimal quality. Rice farming is recommended for new farmers due to its lower likelihood of failure compared to some other agricultural ventures. The consistent demand for local rice and its higher quality makes it relatively stable entry point into the agri sector. In Ghana, cultivating hot peppers like cayenne, habaneros, scotch bonnets can be a very lucrative venture. It costs around 10,000 to 20,000 cities to start on an acre. Two months after transplanting, you can harvest every week, making about 5,000 to 10,000 seeds every two weeks. What you need to know Long term earnings. These pepper plants can last a long time with good care, leading to even higher profits over the year. There is great return. Making around 20,000 seeds monthly for two months gives a 70 to 100% return on investment. With good maintenance and water supply, you can even hit 200% returns. Irrigation helps. Using proper watering system is vital for consistent growth and yield. To start your pepper farm, prepare the land. Get the soil ready with good drainage. Pick good seeds. Choose high quality seeds that suit the local climate. Watering matters. Set good watering plan for healthy growth. Keep the crop safe. Protect the plant from pests and diseases. Take care. Regularly maintain the plant by watering, weeding, and ensuring they are healthy. Time your harvest. Pick the peppers at the right time for better quality and value. 
Growing these hot peppers with irrigation and care can be a smart investment. A small investment can bring in 70 to 100% return in just two months. And with proper maintenance and water supply, your earning can even surpass 200%. Just like any other business, the challenges here is that harvesting can be labor intensive, time consuming, and need more hands if not mechanized. Also, pricing can be unfavorable if products on the farm are not weighed. Most of the normal challenges with production can be controlled. You just need to consult with the right people. Last on my list is Oko Farming. Oko Farming is a swift and profitable venture perfect for newcomers in agriculture. It is a rapid growing crop typically ready for harvest between one and a half months to two months with a harvesting frequency of two to three times per week. A single acre can yield around 20 to 30 baskets per harvest. During the rainy season, each basket may sell for approximately 300 cities, generating around 12,000 cities per month and reaching 24,000 cities in two months. In the dry season, due to market dynamics and inflation, prices may rise between 300 cities to 400 cities per basket, potentially earning around 72,000 cities over the same period. Production costs may range from 3,000 to 5,000 cities during the rainy season and up to 20,000 cities during the dry season, factoring in the type of irrigation system used. The return on investment for okra farming is promising ranging from 80% to 100%, even considering potential losses. However, a key challenge involves managing a swift harvesting process and ensuring a ready market to sell the produce promptly before it hardens. Additionally, exploring alternative revenue streams such as converting excess okra into okra powder presents an opportunity for additional income. How to start okra farming? Begin by securing suitable land with proper drainage. Clear the land of debris and weeds. Incorporate organic matter and prepare raised beds or ridges for planting. Choose high quality seeds of suitable variety that thrives in your region or climate and variety that customers prefer. Proper seed selection significantly impact the crop's yield and quality. Sow the seeds at appropriate intervals, ensuring adequate spacing between plants to facilitate growth and harvesting. Implement a reliable irrigation system, especially during dry periods, to maintain consistent moisture level for growth of plants. Apply fertilizer suitable for okra cultivation. Monitor for pests and diseases and employ effective pest control measures to safeguard the crops. Harvest okra when it reaches the desired size, typically within um, one, two, one and a half to two months after planting. Regularly collect the pods every two to three days to prevent overripening and maintain product quality. Properly handle the store harvested okra to preserve freshness. Your initial capital expenditure are going to be land lease or purchase. That is the cost associated with acquiring the land for cultivation, land preparation, all expenses for clearing, tilling and preparing the land for planting, seed and planting material, investment in high quality okra seed and any required planting tool. For irrigation system. These are the costs related to setting up an effective irrigation system, which might include drip, sprinkler, or other suitable system. Again, fertilizer and pest control. That is all budgets allocated for fertilizer, pesticide, and herbicide for crop and maintenance. Again, um, labor, hiring labor for land preparation, planting, maintenance and harvesting activities. You need to also budget for transportation of produce, miscellaneous expenses, and unforeseen costs. Now you come to expenses related to harvesting, 
tools, basket, and any necessary processing equipment. Ensuring efficient use of capital and following recommended agricultural practices may contribute to successful okra farming and potentially higher return on investment. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you a happy and prosperous new year. Before you click off, kindly like and share this video. 80% of my viewers never subscribe. Be my friend and subscribe to the channel.